gonna talk about parasites. Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Celia and I'm a Danish model, actress, conscious creator and angelic coach. And today we're going to talk about a really fascinating subject, in my opinion. We're going to talk about parasites. Parasites is something that I did not believe existed and actually I hated to read about it or hear about it. I thought it was disgusting and I almost got angry with the people who were talking about parasites. Which was a clear sign that definitely there was something there for me to look at. Today we're going to talk about parasites, everything you need to know if you have them and how you can get rid of them. So basically I got convinced about the parasite thing when I eliminated my first parasite myself. Obviously when you have it right in front of you, you cannot avoid it. Uh, you cannot avoid to face the truth. So I became accustomed to the idea that I probably had them and I started to do various cleanses and I've eliminated many many more um, and I probably still have parasites because you know I still have some symptoms and stuff of it which is for some people not anything like crazy but uh, that's something we're going to talk about later on in this video. Uh, parasites are not uncommon. Actually a physician in Berlin uh, that had been doing autopsies said that he found parasites in around 60% of all cases that he was doing intestinal autopsies on. He also found like hardened feces and crusts around the intestines which is also something people call mucoid plague which is something that people eliminate through juice cleanses etc. And also in colonics that people do it's the people who work in the colonic center say that around 50% of the times they will see live parasites coming out when they're doing the colonics. So I definitely didn't want to believe that they existed. I thought the whole thing was disgusting and uh, well, when they were right in front of me, I had to accept it. Maybe you're at the same place and if you are, I encourage you to listen with an open mind because if you actually do have them, you'll never be able to do something about it if you reject it. We have to first accept it and then we can do something about it. And the truth is, if you have ever eaten sushi with raw fish or even vegetarian sushi at a regular sushi restaurant, you're almost guaranteed to have parasites because just one square inch of sushi has around 10,000 parasite eggs that are just waiting to hatch. And because we're not carnivores by nature, our stomach acid is not strong enough to kill the parasite eggs. So they do go to the intestines where they will hatch and then if you feed them the food that they like to eat such as starches, sugars, animal products, bread, all this sort of stuff they have a thriving environment and they're going to multiply. Also if you have pets you are exposed to parasites on a daily basis. Pets are like parasite uh, transmitters because of how they interact with the outside environment um, or how they walk you know with bare feet and paws everywhere etc and many other reasons. So an interesting thing to talk about is why do people even get parasites? It doesn't seem very normal does it or healthy? Well first of all parasites exist everywhere and we do see them in nature as well. They, they exist all over nature and there are many animals that in their natural habitats also contract parasites. Whether parasites may be a result of the kind of way that we've been treating the planet and maybe some of the unnatural farming practices etc it could be somehow man-made to some extent but you know you find them even everywhere in nature in soil specifically you find the eggs everywhere just like you find the seeds of plants everywhere they're just a species that want to survive and they're doing what they can to survive but the truth is when you have a strong immune system and when you avoid the obvious transmitters of parasites such as raw fish, pork, animal products and being around pets, then you actually can avoid them as long as you don't feed them. The most biggest part of everything is are you feeding the parasites because what they do basically is they live off your trash food. They're like garbage men in your intestines. They just live off the trash that you eat. And again they love refined sugar. And refined sugar also counts such as agave syrup, maple syrup, any sort of syrups, 
and they love starches. Starches, they stick so well in the intestines, even things like rice, which supposedly are healthy, and bread particularly because it has yeast, which also feeds fungus and parasites, and they come mainly from animal products. Pork and fish are like, oh gosh, if you've ever eaten that in your life, you have parasites, almost guaranteed. They are just disgusting, as how many parasites they actually can hold. Like, not only the eggs, but they can contain the parasite itself. Okay, we've heard this on TikTok. If you pour coke on your pork, the parasites will come out. So we're gonna pour it on. We have a debate because I don't think it's true and Andrew does. We'll let it sit for a couple minutes and come back. Oh my god, we are never eating pork again. Um, so if you've been eating like any standard Western person, you've just, you know, you have them. There's almost like no chance of you not having them. But the good news is that you can change and what you can do now is get rid of them and then eat in a way that does not feed. Yes, of course, it's important to cleanse them out because it's actually been shown the parasites, they do emit chemicals into our bloodstream that make us crave the foods that they want to eat. They're kind of hijacking the host because they want to survive. And in nature, it goes even a step further where parasites actually kill their host in order to transmit it to a bigger host. For instance, they do that to cockroaches and fish to be able to be transmitted to birds or fish. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's something you want to get out because you're supposed to live in your body. And yes, we have many different other species in our body, such as our probiotics and stuff, but we want to keep them in balance and we want to keep just the ones that actually benefit us and not the ones that control our behavior to do things that harm us. So if you're experiencing uh, a lot of cravings, excessive hunger, and just binging and all this sort of stuff. It could be that you, to some degree, are controlled by parasites, and I know that I've definitely been at that point myself. So let's talk about a few of the signs that you might have parasites, though, as mentioned, most people do, so just assume that you do unless you've already done some extensive cleanses. But for now, just check this list and you can see if there's something that matches with you. The list is gas and bloating, obvious sign, of course, because it means something is happening in your intestines. Anus, ear or nose itching is a sign of parasite activity. Constant hunger, cravings, thinking about food, especially foods that don't make you feel good or that actually are not what you really want to eat, but you just feel like your body is taking you over and you just can't stop thinking about the food so you just want these foods specifically if it's like bread and starches and animal products irritable bowel syndrome allergies unstable emotional state anxiety grumpiness depression actually parasites severely affect our emotional state and this is one part of this whole thing that i feel like it's not being talked enough about but like they have been shown to be able to kill the host of uh, animals, they can severely affect our emotional state, severely, to, in order to influence your behavior to do what they want you to do. So that could be depression or anxiety in order for you to eat these foods for numbness, etc. Skin problems, anemia, excess weight, rashes, Problem sleeping, problem focusing is a big one, forgetfulness, just feeling like you're in a fog, you can't see clearly, vision problems, and issues fasting. If you've tried fasting and you just feel like you're gonna die, this could be the parasites that feel like they're gonna die. Like, I know this sounds crazy, but really, the first time I eliminated a parasite, I felt horrible for like 24 hours. I had no idea what was going on. I felt emotionally horrible, physically just like I was being turned inside out and then shortly after I eliminated a parasite and I felt amazing and fantastic the moment I did. So I actually really suspect that all of that uncomfortableness I was feeling was the parasite that I was feeling. It was trying to fight for its life in the last moments and uh, yeah, crazy stuff. Also, if you have a lot of sweet cravings,
it's like you just want to eat sweet. Yes, I know we're frugal horse by nature, but I'm talking here about refined sweets. Also, if you do have parasites, unfortunately, some sweet fruits do feed them. So that's why it's really important to just get them out and then you can eat the sweet fruits again without any issues. And also hypersexuality. If you're really like almost addicted to sex, that's also a sign of parasites because it can be a way of actually uh, them spreading to other to partners etc or it can be you know it's a survival mechanism that if the body is in poor health it will sometimes have hypersexuality in order to spread the genes okay so now you've seen if you have parasites and the fact is that there are everywhere yes but it's also possible to get to a place where your body is very strong and where you're very unlikely to, to contract them especially if you don't feed them and that's what i'm gonna like teach you next like how to protect yourself against parasites and this is something that i use myself and um, thanks to that have improved my health a lot some things i'm gonna step up as well because for instance it's been a long time since i did a parasite cleanse and i really highly do believe i've contracted some sins just because because of my work as a model traveling and all this sort of stuff i interact a lot with society and i sometimes eat vegan foods out and they can have like you know you never know so it's good to really just stay clean <laughs> so how to protect yourself against parasites number one most obvious one stop feeding them again they're just eating your trash that's why they're there so they're there to eat to to live off of you basically so stop feeding the foods that they like especially animal products just get all the animal products out they come mainly from animal products. The farming industry as we have it today has become parasite factories, basically. There you can find online videos of people having raw pork meat and just getting out all these live parasites from the pork meat by putting soda on it and also from raw fish, etc. Stay away from animal products. Stay away from junk foods. Like all of that is junk. Like it's literally what they live off. Refined sugar, just keep it out. Even stuff like maple syrup, I would just keep it out for a little bit. When you're healthy, you can have that stuff again and they, and actually you're going to be fine. Um, but if you believe you have them now, you just want to stop feeding them. The hardest part is to get them out once you have them. Um, and once you have them out, it's easier to not let them come back in again if you know what you're doing. So my suggestion is to eat a raw vegan diet uh, with a lot of leafy greens, green juices, bitter stuff and uh, herbs and spices because this is what they really don't like. So that's one first thing, just stop feeding them and eat a natural diet. The second one, do regular parasite cleanses. This is also just so important because if you interact with society in any way, you're just around parasites all the time because you're around people who are filled with parasites all the time. I know that this can be kind of like scary and we, we kind of want to not be part of society, but that's just not realistic for most of us and also potentially not very healthy. So I interact with society, I go to public bathrooms, even though I know that most of the people who go there have parasites, but you know, we do what we can and so we just have to protect ourselves. And by doing regular parasite cleanses, you can get rid of anything you may contract. And I highly recommend the Marcus Parasite Cleanse. This is the only one I've ever found that I actually felt like wasn't harmful because you have to be careful with the kind of herbs you take. Also, I trust Marcus. I trust the quality of his herbs. Many times you buy herbs online and actually they don't contain what they say. They found that in 75% of cases they studied these uh, unregulated herbs, they did not contain what they said they did. But Marcus I trust because he makes the products himself. He seems to be a man of authenticity and value. So, and I've done his cleanse and I felt huge difference. Unfortunately, when I did it, I was not eating raw vegan. I was actually even having bread and stuff. So I did not get the results that I could have gotten if I had followed it. But I'm going to repeat it this year again and then do it right with, um, yeah, with the raw vegan, a lot of bitter stuff, etc. So I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm not affiliate or anything, even though there's nothing wrong with that. But Marcus doesn't do affiliate anymore, unfortunately. So you can go check out this product. I highly, highly recommend it. It's a free month cleanse and you can keep doing your life, etc. Just adjust your diet a little bit. Highly, highly recommend. Number three, anti-parasite NMS. This is something I do regularly and I have released several parasites from doing these NMS. 
This is not something I can talk about on YouTube. Unfortunately, I do have the video on my Patreon of exactly how to do an anti-parasite enema. So you can go check it there. And I may also start a membership uh, forum on my website where I will post it there. So subscribe to my newsletter on my website if you want to see it there as well. Obviously, enemas are powerful because you go straight to where you need to get rid of the stuff. And then if you put something that's anti-parasitic in there and safe at the same time, it can highly effectively kill parasites and I have seen several come out from doing that. Number four, regulate stress because if your immune is stronger then you're less likely to contract parasites. So you know, just have some daily stress regulation exercises, emotional management, meditation, be physically active, etc. Eat healthy, all this sort of stuff. Number five, if you're vegan, don't ever eat vegan sushi from a sushi place. Don't, just don't. The parasite eggs go everywhere. Maybe they use the same cutting board, maybe the chef didn't wash his hands. It just goes everywhere. You just don't want to even take the risk. Stay away from sushi places, even if they have vegan sushi. Luckily, there are sushi places that are 100% vegan now in the Western world. So if you really want sushi, just go there or make your own at home. Number six, regularly cleanse. This is kind of the same as number three, do the parasite cleanse. But just regularly make sure you clean out your body and your system doing enemas regularly. I have another video on enemas if you want to see it. Uh, and just take care of your body and yourself. Number seven, add antiparasitic foods to your daily diet. So this is a really important one. Because this is where the whole trouble starts, is when people eat crap and they don't eat the things that the parasites hate. And funnily enough, most people hate what the parasites hate because they're so hijacked by the parasites. And I can tell you this because I used to hate these things, but since I cleanse myself a lot, I love these foods and I cannot go a day without them. Like they literally taste amazing to me and my, f my diet doesn't feel quite complete. I can feel that it's kind of off balance if I don't have these foods. So some of these foods are bitter, anything bitter. So for instance, celery juice is incredible. I have celery juice every morning and I love it. It feels so good and it tastes amazing to me now. But when you first start out and if you have parasites, celery juice is probably gonna taste horrible and it might even make you feel a little sick because the parasites are rebelling to what you're doing. Also have lots of bitter greens in your daily diet. Have a huge salad with dandelion, rucola, endives, kale, or make a juice or a smoothie with these greens. Just have a ton of greens on a daily basis. Herbs, herbs are medicinal, herbs are powerful, they're strong, have lots of herbs. Um, have green juice, like I said, turmeric, ginger, garlic, and onion are four really powerful antiparasitical foods. If you have papayas, eat the papaya seeds. The reason why you hate them because the parasites don't like them. Don't have too many because they can be toxic, but like a tablespoon at most and many, many other things. But those are some foods that for instance, you can have on a daily basis. With the papaya seeds, you can blend them in a sauce if you really don't want to taste them and you're not going to notice a thing, but you still have the antiparasitical properties. Okay, number eight. This is something I have to address to all the raw vegans here. Please rinse your produce super well. Like even if it's organic or whatever, don't eat dirt because these modern day farming practices use animal feces as a fertilizer and animal feces is filled with parasite eggs. I cringe whenever I see raw vegans eat dirt because they think it's healthy and they get B12 or whatever. I mean, maybe if we lived in a world where we had never had any like farming practices, but no, just don't do it because you are eating parasite eggs and it's disgusting. <laughs> just wash your produce really, really well. Don't have it all clean, as clean as possible. Um, that's really the best way to avoid it because even in your produce with dirt, you can contract parasites. So that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope this was helpful. I'm honestly super happy to be doing this video when I think about the person I was in the past who couldn't stand the subject. We're all capable of growing and learning and expanding our horizon. And now thanks to embracing the subject, I have a lot less parasites than I did in the past. I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on the parasite cleanse that I'm gonna do again. And for now, just know that this is all in your hands, okay? Yes, the world is whatever it is, but you can take care of yourself and you can make sure that you are not a fertile ground for parasites. So just follow these 
uh, tips in the video. Please share this video with more people if you want to spread the word of how we can all be parasite free. Stay tuned for a live Q&A on parasites that I'm gonna do on my Instagram that you'll see here on Raw Food Awakening. If you have any questions for the live Q&A, write them in the comments on this video and I'll make sure to address it. And also follow me on Instagram so you can be notified of when we do this q &A. And if you're new to a raw food lifestyle and you want to do a cleanse, I have on my website a juice cleanse that is seven days that can help you very effectively cleanse. The thing with the juice cleanse is there are sweet juices, so you need to make sure you take, you know, like herbs uh, for against parasites and make sure you have daily green juices. I also soon will be having a program that is more extensive on how to go raw for those of you who are new to it. So stay tuned, subscribe to my newsletter for more information. And for now, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a pleasure to make this video. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Ciao!